Oscar De La Hoya is an idiot. He's a liar. Fighters are just coming up to me and saying, look, we don't get paid enough. UFC just sold for $4 billion. We're here struggling, uh, uh, trying to make ends meet. It's one thing to sit around with your friends and lie. It's another thing to go on ESPN and lie. I don't like you, and I think you're, you're, you're a bad guy. I'm gonna compete with Dana White. Just the way I started Golden Boy Promotions, and now we're the biggest powerhouse in boxing, that's exactly what I'm gonna do with him. And you think you'll take better care of the fighters? Absolutely. We can come in here face to face, and we can bring somebody from the pay-per-view business, we can bring Chuck Liddell, we can do whatever he wants to do, and we can take a drug test too if he wants to do that. I'm working hard to build my business and to take care of my fighters. Are you doing the same? Round four, the beef between Dana White and Oscar De La Hoya hit first take last week, and the feud is for real. Ariel, what do you think of this bizarre promoter rivalry? Oh, sorry, Chell. I was, I don't know. I, were they talking to me? I was just, I just, I, I mean. <sighs> Chael, let me just say, all jokes aside, welcome back, Dana. We missed you. That's the Dana that we grew up loving. That's the 2009 Dana who had fire, who had gusto, who, who didn't back down from a fight. Where has that guy been over the past two and a half years? And of course, it reminds us of Mayweather McGregor when that got personal because it was him versus boxing and it was him versus Steven Espinoza of Showtime and it was him versus the Mayweathers. Clearly, what gets him up in the morning these days is boxing, is a feud with boxing, with a fellow promoter who happens to promote boxing with a legend like Oscar De La Hoya. Look, I talked about Oscar De La Hoya a couple of weeks ago on this program. I was none too impressed with the way he promoted that Chuck Liddell versus Tito Ortiz fight. However, I do feel like this whole thing is just a little silly. Like, what exactly are we doing here, guys? You know, to me, Dana had a big show to promote. Um, this past weekend. Why aren't you spending your energy talking about that? Why is a feud with Oscar De La Hoya finally getting you to talk about numbers publicly? Like, what, like what, what is it about Oscar that gets you all riled up? Let's not forget how this whole thing started. They used to be friends, Chael. They used to talk glowingly about each other. Oscar used to send out tweets promoting UFC events, and then Oscar sent out the tweet saying, don't buy Mayweather McGregor. And for some reason, that really riled up Dana White. And ever since then, they've gone back and forth. But for the most part, if I'm being honest, Chael, it remained rather cordial and professional. I think it went a little too far when Dana started talking about his drug uh, abuse and his, you know, let's take a drug test. Like that to me was just on a different kind of level. I didn't think it was necessary, but that's Dana being Dana and he said himself to his credit that he gets riled up when these things happen. I, I, I don't get, I, you know, I don't get all hot under the collar when it comes to these things. I know a lot of the media do. I know our, our network likes to, to get all excited about these things, but if I'm being honest, to me, I'd rather focus on the fighters. That's what's all that, that I really care about. And Errol, I will tell you, I'm from the other side of the tracks on this one. I loved it. I thought this was the most fun thing of the week. Look, let's back up a little bit. Okay, you've got a revered and decorated combat sports athlete in Oscar De La Hoya. He goes into MMA promotion and made a fool of himself. He all then simultaneously became a social media warrior at the same time. He challenges Dana White to a boxing match right when you think he couldn't have a worse idea than promoting Chuck versus Tito part three. Now he's coming, I guess he's going to pretend that he's continuing on an MMA. I know for sure he does not want to. I know from executives personally at Golden Boy that they are saying, get the heck out of MMA. We don't belong in this space. I'm not sure that he's not going to get dared into this game of chicken with Dana White just through this battle, which all it's going to do is cost him more and more money. Ultimately, the most fun for me is that they have agreed to go on first take with Stephen A. Smith and debate, the two of them face to face, they both agreed. One of them will back down. I will not offer for you that that debate will take place, but I can tell you right now, it's not gonna be Dana White. And if Oscar doesn't show up, Stephen A. is not gonna protect him. He's going to say, Oscar agreed to this debate and he didn't show up. And I just think the drama behind it, the silliness, if you wanna say, I like the drama. I think that it's fun. I like that these two are battling. I don't know what the end game is for Dana, other than if he just wants to defend himself. But either way, I think a result of this is going to be Oscar is going to try to go back into MMA part two and lose another bunch of money. It's like Brewster's millions. How quick can he go through this? He's simply in this area, doesn't know what he's doing. I'm not piling on the insult 
Oscar, I could pay him a ton of compliments back to when I first saw him in 1992 and watched him win a gold medal for this country, all the way up to his recent boxing events that he does a very good job in. MMA is a different animal, and he simply doesn't know it. Chell, I feel, respectfully, I feel like we're missing the point here. I mean, isn't the point in all of this that Dana White is really bored? I mean, look, look at the fire. When have you seen him promote a fight with that kind of fire in the past two and a half years since the sale? Honestly, when have you seen him have that kind of fire doing media, promoting UFC fights, not Mayweather McGregor? That's the point in all of this. The point is that he's really bored. That's why he keeps talking about Zufa boxing. Again, he won the race. He cashed out. He made multi-millions of dollars. This gets him excited because it's a personal beef with a boxing guy. That's the real story here, Chael. Let's not forget what, what is really going on. Like, th does he truly really care about all this? No. Like what, what, like, what are we really talking about? He's bored. He needs a fight. He likes a fight. Scott Coker doesn't present that. Scott Coker isn't a sparring partner. Chatri Sitchotung is not a sparring partner. Oscar De La Hoya is a sparring partner. That's someone that everyone knows. That's the point, Chael. Errol, I fully concede your point. I'm just confused in which side you're going with this. Are you saying this is a bad thing? I see nothing bad with it. Whatever it takes to motivate a guy and bring a fighter out, bring it out. I, I don't know if it's good or bad. I'm just kind of ho-hum about the whole thing. Like, I'm not really getting all that excited. We've seen this a hundred times in the old days. So, welcome back. It's and I want to see the debate. I hope Stephen A. locks him in. I hope he doesn't. I hope he says he's busy and he refuses. Bad guy, sign up now for ESPN Plus.